Greetings YouTube, this is BJ Black from No Export For You, and welcome to, what part am I on? Part 13 of my blind segmented let's play of Fu Kan no Grasestis Trial. This time, well, we'll watch a couple of girls having tea, but it's probably the most important scene in the trial, so let's enjoy it. I guess I'm done here. Nobody looks too interested. More talking. Are we, are we not done talking yet? I've been at this nearly eight hours. Okay. In a certain place, a certain female knight shows up. Sorry to keep you waking. Ah, oh, no, Lady Fishnail. Please, please do come in. Thanks for coming. So a certain young lady. She seems pretty happy at the guest, but perhaps that's why she's smiling, rather. Hey, Mao, would, won't you prepare some tea? This is the heroine. I mean, she's got the pink letters and really nice voice and all. This has got to be the heroine. Okay. All right, I'll get right on it. The maid's kind of a bitch. Well, you don't know that yet, but it's in in the backstory. So she starts preparing some red tea. This tea so excited, So, Rustine, have you been able to breathe easy? <laughs> have you had trouble breathing? <laughs> there hasn't been any change since we met last. So, the knight takes a look at the young lady. And lowers her eyes slightly. So, no change. Yes, but I'm plenty lively. So, it's alright. And furthermore, it's been such a long time since we've met. I wanted to see you again for so long. Have uh, have the reports from the knights been uh, taken care of? Ah, Yes, there aren't any problems. For a while. The mission seemed to be within Grasesta proper. That's wonderful. So, she smiles happily. And the knight accepts it. So, so. This time, in your deployment, where did you go? <laughs> you seem to be quite excited. Have you wanted to meet me so... Have you been waiting to meet me so much? Ah, jeez. Rushtine. You really do like military stuff. <laughs> well, after all, 
more than the adventures we read about in books. A real warrior who sees real battles. You, Fechnil, your stories are much more exciting. Ah, all right then. So I'll tell you about what we did this time. On our journey, our deployment, we went to Belgorod Kingdom, etc., etc. We've seen the important part of that, haven't we? So she happily starts talking about these things. And the fortress that they attacked. How she moved her ba how she moved her troops and how she guided them to victory. <laughs> Surrounding a fortress in the rain. And amongst the falling falling shafts of arrows. That fighting spirit. In order to fulfill what we needed to, we were in a hurry. In fact, hurrying was ne a necessity. <laughs> Furthermore, there was a limit to our supplies. <laughs> so, as quick as that, you can't turn back. There's no turning back. Oh, just thinking about it makes my fist clench up. But the enemy army wasn't just shut up in the fortress. They had a grasp on our movements. And they sent a crack true team out beforehand. And they took our flank. So then, you didn't have that much food left at that point. What did the Indigo Hawks do? そうだ。結果的には時間との勝負になった。こちらが砦を落とすのが先か、相手がこちらの食料を奪うのが先か。どちらが負けてもおかしくなかったな。That's right. It was a race against time. Whether it would be we who took the fortress first or whether it was our opponents who took our food from us. Either way it went, it wouldn't be surprising. And the result was... It was we who, who had the victory. The leader of the commanding troops was a coward, it seems. Seeing that he was disadvantaged, he quickly issued a declaration of surrender. <laughs> well, the one who drew that out. What drew that out was your power, wasn't it, Lady Fishnair? It was I who took command of the forces, but it's also the power of my troops. They fought with valor, and even though they were spread out, they were able to fulfill my orders. Yahari Fishnail Samaba, 
騎士の鏡のようなお方ですねうんけ So, that's a wonder. You're such a wonderful knight, leader. As expected, you, Lady Fashioner, are the image of a perfect knight. Hehe. <laughs> you may wonder why we're only seeing the back of her head. That's a spoiler. Well, I could tell you, but that's a spoiler. I mean. Well, I think I know what it is. Anyway, so in the night's talk, the lady gets excited. She just can't cool down and starts,、uh, <laughs> you know, panting. Fessionale, some of the ancient tongue of Kikto, it's no cocoroga, Odorimas. Not the Batasmo, so could they soon eat Tataka Tirka no yo. When I hear tales of your deployments, My heart always races, so it's almost as if I were there fighting with you. And well, it's because you've never left Grasesta. Yes, with my body, leaving the country would be difficult. So, ka. That, that's right. <laughs> Our night girl is actually kind of cute in a way. <laughs> anyway, since she's enjoyed this deployment talk and all, anyway, she doesn't. She decides to change the subject. So, yeah, but so not looking at Kudasta, Belgarado, no hey, or Polio Tosta. Gono Grassista, and it's redicted. Ah, now that we mention it, at that time, the Belgarad soldiers who lost, we took possession of, and we brought them here to Grassista. Oh, oh, how much you are going, Master? So, even to walk on the Ninzo, it's redicted. レギ様も喜んでいましたよ。Yes, I've heard about that. You brought a great number of people. レギ was happy about it. I don't know who レギ is, but apparently. 今回は腕利きが多い。我が右腕たるベールタズウセを任したやつもいる。必ずやグラセスタのためになってくれるだろう。It seems like they're pretty skillful folks as well. There's even one who defeated my right hand, Veilta Zeus. Certainly, they'll become of use to Grasesta. So, hearing that, the lady has a shocked expression. And seeing that she'd said something excessive, the knight apologizes. Don't tell me. Vice Commander Zeus is. Yes, he died honorably in battle. シュネール様がタイに赴任する前からの付き合いだと言っていたお方なのに。No way. You brought him into your troop individually, and you've been together so long. 戦場での死は騎士の名誉だ。そう悲しむことはない。To fall on the battlefield is an honor for a soldier. It's not something to be sad about. But if he's lost his life, we'll never meet him again. 
That is so very sad. So that I. That's true. It is as you say. <laughs> but even if there are farewells in this world, there are also new meetings. If you're always taken up by the deaths, you can't look at the lives around you. And as a leader, you won't be able to fulfill any your role. Those of us who remain in this world, just continuing on. We need to overcome the deaths and continue to fight. As one life living in this world, we need to continue to walk forward. It's our duty. Yes. I, as a protector of Grasesta, and no, one of the nobility protecting Grasesta would like to live like that. And receiving from the night. Uh, she's a bit clumsy, but the lady gives her a A robust smile. And speaking of new meetings, one example is the mercenary, the one in the enemy army who defeated Zeus. He is truly an interesting man. Hmm? What exactly are you getting at? Just now, the demon cataclysm that came up, he showed up. And all by himself, he was running around with the monsters. Fighting this really, the one that happened in the Valley of Scattered Feed, I heard because its location was nearby that the casualties were low, but. So, that's, that mercenary was there when the cataclysm uh, appeared. He wasn't even prepared with any of the equipment that they have available in the halls. Yeah, and still he was able to properly run away from a demon god. Oh, was it a demon god? Ooh, he seems so very reliable then. So again, the lady grips her fists tightly. She was think she thinks to herself whether she might personally meet such a person. And she gets a little excited thinking of it. Uh, 
Oh. If it's all right with you, could you... Could I inquire that man's name of you? Jedal. Jedal Shubarka to say that. Jedal. He said, Jedal Shubarka. So, yeah, I can't know you're not sure of what you're doing. Then, I'm going to... <laughs> he's got the sharpness of a wild dog, but at the same time, he's got the training of a hunting of a hunting hound. He's got a lot of unusual abilities and a number of symbols on his body, carved into his body. Is that so? The mercenary Jedel Shvalka. I wonder what type of person him. I would like to meet him. Oh, are you interested? Yes, Hmm. Yes, she's thinking that perhaps this person might be able to get into the center of the very center of the port of black where Shvel Shvel oh she's thinking that Shvalka which is what he call she calls Jedal uh, calling him by his last name well she's a proper lady and all anyway she's thinking that Jedal could possibly make it to the center the very center of the port of black And perhaps if we could have a talk with him, she'd like to try something. <laughs> well, I'm glad I brought these souvenirs back with me then. If he can actually do it, I'd like to, con to cooperate too. Forgive me. No. You have your work with the knights. So, do not worry. From now on, let's get along well, and I'm happy. Since we haven't seen each other in this long, you've gotten a bit more mm, desirous. Oh, what do you mean by that? Well, well, don't read too deeply into it. You going after this on your own initiative, it's very important for someone who's living and for that purpose going and meeting that man. You've got to see how he acts. <laughs> and that's why you want to. No, but if you do meet him, make sure he doesn't bite you. He really doesn't know his place. Tension and release is important for media. Whether it's drama or comedy or suspense, mystery, or even romance. It all boils down to tension and release on some level. In any case, that was our tea party. So... Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.